I created the images that you see in the back for free using DALI. DALI is an artificial intelligence program that creates images from text. You simply describe an image and it will create it for you. It really works like magic. And I know that diving into new technology can be overwhelming, but don't worry. I'm here to show you step by step how to set up a DALI account and where to find inspiration and examples for you to craft the best instruction for DALI to create the image images you want. If you follow the steps that I'm going to show you in this tutorial, you will see that everything is very simple and easy to use, so make sure to stay watching until the end. And if you are ready for this tutorial, let's go to my computer. First of all, what is DALI 2? DALI 2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. At the moment, we have DALI 2, which is the latest version, and you can access it with this URL. Now click sign up, enter your email address, select the I'm not a robot box, hit continue and now enter a password. Hit continue. Now you need to verify your email. So go to your inbox and you should have received an email like this one. Click on the green button. This will open a new window and here you need to enter your name your last name and you will need to verify your number. They will send you an SMS with a code, so enter it in this window and now you'll see this welcome window and when you hit continue you get this message. This is very important because it says that you get 50 free credits during your first month and 15 free credits will refill every month after that. If you use those credits and want to continue creating images with DALI you can always buy more credits. Okay we now just need to click on this start creating with DALI button and we are ready to create our images. This is DALI and this is where you will create your images. You'll type your image description here and then click generate. If you don't know yet what to type, you can click the surprise me button and it will generate description ideas for you to try it out. Here I do suggest to be mindful because as we already saw, we only have 50 free credits the first month and if you use them all and you want to continue creating images, then you'll have to buy additional credits. So if I were you, I will take the time to create a fantastic prompt to create something that you actually are going to use. When you start creating images with DALI, you can always check your remaining credits by clicking on the top right corner of the screen. In my case, I already tried DALI. I tried out before filming this tutorial, so now I have 48 remaining credits. Now I want to show you a resource that is going to help you create precise prompts so that you can create the image that you want to generate. But before, please let me know if you like this kind of content. In this channel, we usually create tutorials about Canva, but we have noticed that many of you are interested in learning more about AI platforms and how to use them to create content. So would you like to see more tutorials like this one here? And if you are interested in learning more about AI, is there any other platform that you want us to cover on our tutorials? Please let us know in the comments and let's go back to how to craft amazing prompts for DALI. If you want to learn how to create precise prompts, there is a free ebook that can help you with it. Type this URL on your browser. If you want, you can pause the video and take a screenshot. This is the page where the URL is going to take you. This is where the free ebook is hosted. You can either view it from here or you can also download it as a PDF. This book has 82 pages and is full of examples and keywords that you can use for your prompts. I do encourage you to check the full book and read it, check all the examples, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's go back to the table of contents and click 
own illustration. As you can see here, we have plenty of examples and each image has keywords below. So you will see that here we have stencil, street art, Banksy or ballpoint pen art, pencil sketch, pencil drawing and you can see what kind of images you will generate if you type these keywords on Dali. Let me go ahead a couple of pages because I want to show you in the art history section these examples of a cat sitting on a chair with sunglasses. If you type this prompt cat sitting on a chair with sunglasses and then you add cave paintings you will have something like this. If you type cat sitting on a chair with sunglasses, ancient Egypt papyrus, you will have something like this and you have these other options that you see on this slide. We have six different options of the same prompt but we are changing one keyword at a time and we are generating so many different styles with the same prompt. So this is something to have into consideration if you want to try different styles with the same prompt. Let me show you more examples of the cat with the sunglasses in here and on the next page we have more examples of the same prompt with different styles. So let's go back to Dali and let's type something like hairy happy monster in field full of daisies, comma, child's drawing. You can click on generate or simply hit return. You will see this bar loading. Dali is generating your image. On the top of the screen, you see that we have this section that says edit the detailed description and you have your description down below. Okay, I have my monsters ready. You can see that we have a lot of detail on this and they really look like a child's drawing. So pretty cool prompt. Now let me go back to the ebook. I want to see some other keywords that I could use on my image. So I'm going to change child's drawing for 3D and see what happens. I'm really amazed by the creation that Dali has done with this prompt. Let me open one of these images to see the details and it is really incredible to see the texture of the hair on this monster and the little daisies that we see on the ground and also on the horns. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Let me go back. Now let me show you this because when you hover on an image you will see these three dots and when you click on the three dots you will see these quick actions. You can open the image in a new tab you can edit the image, you can generate more variations of this image, you can download or you could report the image. Let's click on generate variations to see what happens. This is pretty cool because we have basically the same scene but we have different texture on the hair of the monster and we also have different colors, different eye colors, so yeah. I really like this. Now I want you to pay attention to what we see on the right hand side. We have the different variations of our recent creations and when we click on those creations we can go back to the previous images. Now how do we download these images? You're gonna hover on the image click on the three dots and then hit download. Save the image on your computer and that's it. I'm really happy and surprised with the image that I was able to generate thanks to Dali and I just wanted to know if you have other cool prompt ideas that we can try in Dali. Please let me know in the comments. I know that you guys are very creative so I cannot wait to see your prompt ideas in the comments. Remember that it is very important for us to know what kind of content you like and you prefer to watch on this channel. So please let us know if you liked this tutorial and if you want to see more AI tutorials coming on our channel. Meanwhile, if you want to keep learning about AI, we have these two tutorials that I'm sure you are going to love. And if you want to keep learning with us, remember to subscribe. I guess this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. 
बाय